the environmental governance program in Keystone started very organically uh, when we were working on a project on non-timber forest produce looking at conservation and development aspects with tribal communities. That was a long-term project which went on for almost nine years and one of the areas that we uh, came out was governance issues of tribal people when they went to forests. To broad base this whole thing, we took up with the uh, district administration some years back a district environmental governance initiative called DEGI where the 20 odd departments in the Nilgiri district, how do they relate and link to the environment? So this process has been an interesting process because Nilgiri, as you know, Nilgiri is based in the Western Ghats. It's an ecologically sensitive zone. The planning, the implementation, the approach, the idea, the thinking here should be very different than what is there in the plains. So can we come out with a new paradigm and the can, can we get buy-in from the government, from agencies to be able to say in the Nilgiri, this sort of a governance system should be promoted. This sort of sensitivity should happen. It, it can deal with the education department, it can deal with agri agriculture department, horticulture, even transportation. In each area, environmental governance is crucial.